Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. You know, it's Wednesday night when I'm making this video. I was planning on having the night off and just sitting back, relaxing, watching other people's YouTube videos just for the fun of it. But nope. News Now Voodoo just had to make sure that I didn't get a day off. Gee, thanks, you little nose mining asshat. So let's get into the show, shall we? And then let's take this SOB down once and for all. I can lie to this store here, and I'm gonna see if they violate my rights to be a douchebag in public. Get it right, News Now Voodoo. You are not a douchebag. A douchebag is at least useful. You are a douche canoe. And douche canoes have no value to the world. Just as you have no value, nothing to contribute to the world, nothing but, well, toenail clippings. And even then, well, they're not even worth their weight in gold. Hell, they're not even worth their weight in copper. So the next time you bend over to show your uh, butt to moon everybody, somebody can, uh, Take the time to shove them up there where the don't where the sun doesn't shine. You get me, uh, news now, voodoo. That's how worthless you are. Yeah, that's right. Because you know, there's no expectation of privacy in Publix. <laughs> you suck. Five minutes later. All right, so I'm in the store now. Now let's look around and see if any of the employees here violate my rights. They tell me that I need to turn off my camera just because this is a private business. It's a Publix, man. That makes it a public place because it's in the name. Hey, stuffing for brains. Did you ever hear of the term privately owned, open to the public? That just means they won't tolerate your bullshit nearly as much as a, a government building would. So tell me this, dumbass. Why the hell aren't you trying to audit the Pentagon? Because, well, I'm sure they would really love you there. And I'm sure you would uh, probably be given an important mission, such as testing one of our uh, newest missiles and be fired into the sun where you'll never be heard from again. Hey, he knew the risks when he signed on the dotted line right there. He knew there was uh, a chance that he wouldn't return from this uh, test mission. The name says Publix! It's a public place, dagnabbit, so I should be allowed to do what I want, when I want, because you all know that if you own a camera and you pull it out, that that gets you covered by the First Amendment. You can do whatever you want with no rules, because it's a First Amendment protected activity that you're engaged in. While you're doing any other activity, it becomes irrelevant and all that. Hey man, I learned from the Josh Abrams and Long Island Audit School of Auditing, man. I know what I'm talking about. Well, gee, that certainly explains a lot. No wonder you have stuffing for brains, because those two were able to uh, remove it and, uh, well, use it for compost and then replace it with the stuffing they found in between their own ears. <laughs> Oh, so that's what you call it. Just because Hezekiah leaves a few dollars laying around doesn't mean you have the right to pick it up and spend it however you see fit. That's called stealing. And you butter brain can douche can you, you do realize that stealing is illegal, right? If Tez wanted to, he could prosecute you. But I'm sure tasing you would be much more fun news now, voodoo. Uh, I guess I'll have to get this one. What about the Cool Whip, man? Oh, the Cool Whip is still expensive too, man. What are, what are these people trying to do, man? You know how much money I make for auditing? Man, it ain't enough, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so 
anyway, donate to me. Um, the PayPal, yeah, that's right, I need begging. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, I would expect nothing less from you. I mean, after all, you uh, also take from the uh, Jeremetha playbook where you like to e-beg every single night. Yeah, I don't think I haven't seen you do that as well. I know you uh, make live streams and then delete them off of the channel. And when you get all the money that you want for the night, yeah, I've seen it. Don't deny it. Send me money. I need to hire Chili the Castro to be my lawyer. Um, I can't barely afford my tripod, man. Um, but that'll get me out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's this? Coffee creamer. Oh, man, that must be for Hezekiah, because I ain't drinking no coffee, man. That's... Oh, alright, the booze section. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I don't need no coffee, man. I, what, what is this, wine? Get me out of the wine section. Give me, take, where's the beer at, man? It's, what kind of store is this? Where's the good stuff, man? I'm trying to get toe up from the flow up, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, alright. Hey, what, what are we looking at over here? Oh, it looks like they got Bush on sale. Alright, what else they got? Uh, I don't know, this is all crap, man. That's alright, I'll drink it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Alright man, what are we looking at here? Oh wow, man, they got Kinder Eggs! Man, I thought these things were all fun, man! Yeah! Little kids with the toys and stuff! Oh man, this is awesome! Uh, oh, oh, no, no, I'm too old to play with Kinder Eggs, man. Yeah, man, uh, chocolate. Man. Oh yeah, sure, Voodoo, you're too old for that. Yeah, okay, whatever. We all know that you have the mental maturity of a five-year-old. No morals, no standards, or anything like that. You haven't even fully grown up yet. Maybe one day you'll get out of this fraud or phase, but you know what? I really doubt it because, well, you have no brains left in that head of yours, so I really don't think it's going to happen. Alright, so anyway, nobody violated my rights. I don't know what the problem is with these people. Everyone was nice to me. Nobody asked me to stop filming. Don't they understand that the only way fraud or... Oh, it's a bumpy ride out here, man. Anyway, they need to do something about the cement. How's a prodigal supposed to make money if they don't get a confrontation, man? That's the whole point of our videos, is to pick a fight! Oh, I am so happy that you managed to admit the truth that, uh... Frauditing is nothing but a bunch of lies to create conflict so you can get clicks and views and then get that sweet, sweet ad revenue for it. Oh boy, now we can spread this around and, well, you'll be totally exposed now, won't you? These people were nice to me and didn't bother me at all. How dare they ignore me? Well, we don't want that. We want confrontation. We want people to scream and hoop and holler and yell. That's how we get paid. Getting paid in the shade. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hitting them ducats, you know what I'm saying, man? Uh, stacking fat stacks of cash. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting down like a clown, man. He dig? All right. Oh, no, Hess, what are you doing here, man? I, 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 oh, dang, damn it. Oh, no, this is not cool. Oh, no, don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, that's horrible, man. This is not cool. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean to run away. I, it was an accident. I, I escaped on I didn't um, intentionally run away. Yeah. No, hey, man, I thought I got rid of that GPS you were supposed to follow me with, man. I pulled something out of me. I don't know what. Oh, maybe it was the taser. I, no. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> well now, that certainly was a shocking turn of events, but unfortunately I'm going to have to cut it off right here because due to YouTube Terms of Service, uh, the rest of this is too uh, extreme for... Uh, viewing on YouTube by the general audiences. So, yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to have to call it right here. But, hey, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video at least. I mean, I certainly did. It certainly was a joy to watch news now. Voodoo be a complete and total loser once again.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?